Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a very exciting video in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So the Fly-by-Wire team have for a while now been working on their custom flight plan manager. Um, for those of you familiar with the Fly-by-Wire mod, you'll have known there has always been three versions. There's been the stable build, there's been the developer build, and there's been the experimental build. Now the experimental build always used to feature the latest uh, updates and new features but for a while now the experimental build hasn't been actively updated by the developers so we've all been using the developer version as this is the one that has had all the latest and new features the experimental build is the version which they have behind the scenes been working on the custom flight plan manager which is addressing a whole host of topics and bugs which many of us are waiting to see the back of i am really pleased to say that today the custom flight plan manager is now available for us to download and use through the downloader from the fly by wire website so what does this mean it means things like more accurate bank angle calculations it means uh, better waypoint sequencing and you'll see that in a little bit later on in this video it also means better runway uh, sequencing on the approach so no longer jumping to the final waypoint and throwing all your approach off course when the approach phase is activated those bugs are now all gone with this new version if we hop on board then we can see that they've uh, quite inventively added some uh, in-op stickers to parts of uh, the flight deck that are currently inoperative and you'd actually see these in real life if there was a problem with something so i think it's a nice way of getting around uh, the fact that these systems have not yet been implemented in the experimental version uh, uh, just yet uh, i also find this quite interesting as well if we go onto the fly pad you shall see that failures are in the works as well i haven't had a chance to play around with this yet i'm not too sure that they're uh, they're fully operational but the uh, the bones of the software is there so quite clearly they shall be coming in the future let's hop on board then and see what the new custom flight plan manager has in store for us so here we are with a departure out of runway 23 at Bordeaux and I've programmed in the Charlie November Alpha 5 Papa departure and as you can see there's the chart giving us the route and if I just come down here we'll see the route is given to us here as well so uh, Bordeaux 230, 923, November Bravo, NDB and then the Charlie November Alpha and of course they match up perfectly there's our departure first waypoint second waypoint third and fourth all with the track information as uh, as well and our cumulative distance also showing as well there's no constraints on this particular departure but if they were of course they would then be shown here in the uh, in the right hand column so if we just have a look at this chart you can see that we depart straight out and then what looks like quite an abrupt right hand turn to make uh, the 923 waypoint so let's have a look now on the navigation display at how the aircraft would display this and as you can see if I just zoom back in you can see it's no longer an abrupt to and from point we have this nice right hand curve which the aircraft would track and fly and that's a major difference between uh, the default system of the flight simulator and the new custom flight plan manager it's a lot more a uh, lot more akin to how the uh, the real aircraft and uh, the real world planes would fly and display them on the uh, on the screens so that's great to see if we now have a look at the entire route so let me just scroll out a little bit and uh, extend the range let's just come down and scroll through you can see of course as we'd expect and here is an arrival into Innsbruck if we just 
zoom out a little bit you can see again they look like quite abrupt turns still but I promise you they're not and it will continue to update the closer that you get uh, you'll see as you're flying this new version that the uh, the route will update itself as as you get there and you can see actually there's just a nice little bend there rather than uh, a direct uh, a direct angle from one waypoint to the other and this time of course the constraints are, are turned on here so you can see those showing as uh, as well if I come down and have a look we'll also see that we now have a, a flat plan discontinuity so we would have to clear that out so make sure when you're on the ground and when you're flying and you've popped in your sits and your stars you scroll through your flight plan very important now because you're looking for any flight plan discontinuities and uh, we have to clear those in order to do that we just simply hit the clear button until CLR is showing and then we can select it and that's now cleared and that's just tidied that up a, a little bit what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in a different departure and it's one which would usually have one of those user waypoints which I know concern many uh, pilots in the simulator. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to pop in the uh, Charlie November Alpha 5 Romeo departure. Now this wouldn't usually be the runway used but just for uh, tutorial demonstration purposes let's just go in and have a look at doing that so if we go back to Bordeaux and depart runway 29 and the 5 Romeo and we'll just let that uh, populate and insert there we go so normally what we'd see without this custom flight plan manager is straight after our departure we'd have a user point and that user point would equate to this constraint just here so as soon as the aircraft passes 670 feet you can see we make a right hand turn towards Bodo 923 that would normally be uh, prior to this update have been shown as a user point now you can see it's actually shown as the altitude itself there's a slight discrepancy there it's showing 660 feet whereas of course according to the chart it's 670 but that's the first time I've actually seen this not be completely accurate and to be fair 10 feet we can forgive a slight inaccuracy uh, for that in the simulator but that's really nice to know so the good news is you'll have no more user waypoints these are all now uh, they've all been removed and they're showing exactly what the real aircraft would show and that's the information regarding where you make your first uh, where you make your first turns if there has been any constraints uh, programmed in with your uh, with your departure and to your arrivals so no more user waypoints in the future there are a few new things that you may start to see as well that you're not used to. For example, on the navigation display, if you are of off course, as uh, I am just here, you'll see that it will tell you how far uh, off course, right and left you are, off your prescribed nav track. So that's quite nice to see. If you do go direct to a waypoint as well, then you'll see that it does this correctly by displaying the uh, TP sign at the top. and. And of course occasionally that's going to bring in another flight plan discontinuity so remember what I said about going in and clearing those and making sure that your flight plan is all complete again so of course this is the very early stages but it's great to have the experimental version back up and running with this new custom flight plan manager uh, in the uh, in the works and it is perfectly usable and I've flown it myself to test out on a couple of flights and uh, yeah it's working really really well one of the things it is not however remember it does not have working VNAV that is still yet to come but it is on the horizon there are a few caveats to this though that you must be aware of such as things like the uh, the global map uh, flight planner in Microsoft Flight Simulator itself does not work with this version of the aircraft if you are going to uh, make a flight plan up it does need to be done in something like Simbrief and imported in or manually put in to the uh, to the book do and the flight management guidance system uh, there's a tutorial on my uh, on my channel showing you how to do that if you don't know how uh, how to do that already 
but of course the easiest way is simply to use SimBrief. There are other things as well such as the approach lines may look a little bit messed up at, at uh, times as you're approaching your airport. Now these tend to work themselves out as you're going along and they don't tend to cause uh, too much of a problem. You may look down and see the approach looking uh, a little bit of a mess even though you know that you've got the correct approach star and uh, via all coded in but if it does look a little bit of a mess let the aircraft continue to fly and hopefully it works itself out. This is to do with the fact that at the moment it doesn't always take in uh, into account predicted uh, true airspeed so as you get closer to your waypoints they start to uh, they start to work themselves out which is good to uh, which good to know in the future of course uh, it will all be developed a little bit further and that shouldn't happen so in order to download the experimental version, you will need to go to the Fly-By-Wire website and download the installer if you haven't got it already. Once you've downloaded that and gone to the installer, make sure you select the experimental version and then you can then get that uh, downloaded there. Obviously I can't at the moment because Microsoft Flight Simulator is running in the background. One of the things as well you must be aware of is that no support for this experimental version currently exists from the fly-by-wire team so if you do have any issues and problems with it the fly-by-wire team will not respond to those at the moment because this is still as the name suggests in the experimental phase so bugs be worked out with the QA testers uh, all of the time so please be patient with them but I personally would have no problems flying this aircraft even on VATSIM it is uh, it is that good and ready to, ready to go so really happy and thanks so much to the Flyby Wires team for uh, for giving us a wonderful update and continuing to develop this fantastic aircraft of course all for free. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a like so other people uh, can then find the video as well here on YouTube. You can also hit subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. I look forward to seeing you next time. If you have any comments regarding the new experimental A32NX please leave them down below and I'll come back to you. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now.